All right, and now we present to you a master class. Here, here, here. In toddler art. All right. So now that we have gotten our brush cleaned, we're going to switch to red. We're putting little birds into the painting. Good. All right, that's a clean brush. Let's go with green. Let's go with green. Good job. Let's do the bottom. Let's do the bottom because there's no green there. Yes, there we go. All right. Now, if you're paying attention very closely, you can see the blues of the sky and the green of the tree. And this is a nice little rolling sunset with uh, raspberry bushes or something like that. Beautiful. All right. Now we're gonna go with a little more green because we want to create a little, a little hill right here. Good job. Let's get the squirrel here. Now, for those of you paying attention, this is the tree that Emerson is creating. Beautiful job, Emerson. We're really loving this. Let's give that, let's give that sun a little more attention and a nice, calming, relaxing sun. So let's put a little more yellow. Let's get the yellow and put the yellow nice up top, up top. Let's get a nice little yellow going. Yes, yeah, beautiful sun. Beautiful. Okay, we've got yellow everywhere. A little splash of yellow never hurt everybody. Anybody? All right. All right. And now, the key to childhood art is knowing when to stop. And this is a good point to stop. So we're gonna say that this is done. Yeah. We did it. All right. Look at the camera. Say we did it. Yeah. No, the camera. Over there. Say we give a thumbs up. Say we did it. Yeah. Oh. What do you want? Look, look, look. Ooh. Here, here. This is going really well. Master class. Master class. Oh. Well, the first rule of art is always to clean the canvas before you start. And I should have known. Okay. Oh, he's got a different paintbrush. Okay, I like his technique. He's going with the water-based. Uh, so this is a water-based technique. Okay. Um, it is. Uh, had I known that we were going to be cleaning the canvas, I would have not put the uh, paper on. The <laughs> okay. All right. Let's. Uh, oh, look at him. He's using the wet wipe. To smear the paint. I love this. This is very creative. All right, there we go. All right, we don't need as much water. We don't need that much water. Let's use the paint. Use the paint. No, no, no. Look, look. Paint. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna use water for this art project. I don't know why, but we are. Oh, it's art. It's watery over here. It's very watery. There's a lot of water here. I shouldn't have filled up. All right. So master class tutorial number one, don't fill up the mason jar with a lot of water because it's going everywhere, people. Oh God, all right. I'll, um, I'll let the artist continue doing what he's doing and I'm gonna get a, a mop really quickly. Okay. As we know, give me back the water is what he just said. As we know with most artists, they tend to be quite, uh, particular about their media. Um, this this particular young artist has quite fantastic control of his media. The water is absolutely everywhere. Everywhere. Um, and um, I will tell you, <laughs> that was, for those of you that don't know, that was our production assistant quitting. <laughs> All right. So. We've now used up almost all of the water that could possibly have been in that mason jar, and we are still going. I don't know where he's finding the water, people. It's like a magic trick. All right, the paper has now started to disintegrate. This master class is not feeling like much of a master class at this moment. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna say that this, this particular project is done, and we're gonna start fresh. All right, wave to, the, wave to the people. 
Alright, and for those of you that want to take a look at MJ's first art project, we, we call this... The Storm. Alright, you want more paper. We will now put a new piece of paper down. Yes, let's clip it to the top. Excellent job, sir. Alright, now we're going to go with a new medium. We're going to use our fingers. We will be using Crayola finger paint. And what we will be doing, we will take a finger, we will put it in the boot. And then, we will put it on... I almost got his nose. Alright, we will then create circles. Here, blue. Create a circle. We will create circles in the top. More blue. Yes. Now, the, the particular medium that we're using, we're creating a, an aquascape, I suppose, um, where we will now take green to create our grass. Yes. Now we have a fully willing participant because we have modeled the energy that we're trying to drive into the canvas. As you can see, the canvas is coming to life with the art of toddler brilliance. So, we will now create a sun using yellow. A nice swirly sun here at the top in the corner. Taking, okay, a violent sun. Okay, today is not gonna be a nice calm day. It's gonna be a little bit of a violent day, we can tell. Sun is not happy. All right, we will now add more green. Green, green it up. Green, green, green. We're going green. All right, beautiful. Now, we need a tree trunk. Let's ask our audience what color, what color mixed together gives us brown. Come on, audience. This is a audience participation. Is that green and blue? I don't know. Hey, assistant. What do you what do you have to mix to get brown? All right. Red and blue. We're gonna mix some red and blue. That is purple. Yes, this is what happens when you have great assistance. All right, so we will now. That's brownish. That's good enough. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. In less than five minutes, a perfectly beautiful landscape done by hand with your toddler, with minimal meltdown. Once again, this is my masterclass.